we're here at Eurobike 2022, and we're here at the Riesen Muir booth with none other than Heiko, the co-founder of Riesen Muir, Heiko Muir. It's great to be here again, or in a new place. We're here in Frankfurt, usually in Friedrichshafen. You guys have been going to Eurobike really since the beginning. Well, we founded the company in 1993, so it's nearly 30 years already. And this is the first time here in Frankfurt, though? It's the first time in Frankfurt. So Frankfurt is much bigger. You might not know in the U.S., but Frankfurt <laughs> is much bigger than Friedrichshafen, which is even hard to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for you to pronounce. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I'm really grateful to be here. You guys have some new products to show, actually many new products. One of them I'm particularly excited about is right behind us here. And this is called the Multi-Tinker. Right. So we've been familiar with the Tinker is your compact bike, and we're familiar with the multi-charger. And the way Reese and Mueller works, by the way, you got to break down kind of the nomenclature, right? So multi means something like cargo, right? And this... That's right. Yeah, multi always means you have a kind of a long tail. No, you say rack in the US. Carrier is so British. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rack. Yeah. It's a, it's a long rack, and long or mid tail is uh, that you can carry much more stuff than on a usual bike, of course. Yeah. Very universal, you can put on a two children seat or a special kind of rack where, where kids can, can hold themselves. You have uh, big cargo uh, panniers, so it's very universal. And these are new, huh? These, uh, these cargo bags as well? Yeah, you, you can open it, it's really huge. Yeah. Awesome. And, and the difference to a front loader cargo is that it's very compact. The riding feeling is very similar to a, to a normal bike. And that's, that's the main uh, advantage, especially for cities where you have not the space for a front loader. Or if you, if you have to put it in your apartment, whatever. We used to have the multi-charger, which was quite successful, especially in the US. And the multi-tinker is even more compact. But you have the same, the same space uh, to put stuff there. But you have 20 inch wheels instead of 26 inch wheels. So it's even more compact. And it's got some other details like the newest motor from Bosch, the That's smart right. system. And you have all sorts of crazy accessories here. This thing's kind of cool with this yeah, that's, locking zipper that's setup. A, that's a compartment where you can put whatever stuff. And it's, it's lockable with uh, a yeah, number combination. Nice. Yeah. So you can put stuff here, it's waterproof. It's really like a, like the trunk of a car. And heavy duty, double kickstand down here, I yeah. see. That's super helpful when you have kids or that sort of thing, really solid there. And then an integrated battery, right? 625. 625. I mean, then this one has some options on it, like the GX option, right? Right, for GX the... option means uh, kind of mountain bike tires for rough roads. And a big advantage of the multi tinker is that it's it's rideable for, for any size of, of the rider. You have yeah. a seat post which you can really widely adjust and you also have this special stem where you can adjust the angle. So if you want to be more sporty more in this sporty, forward position or, or, or if you for, want to be more upright. Yeah. For bigger, uh, for smaller riders. Yeah. Um, so it's the perfect uh, family bike from 1 meter 50. This is how many feet? I don't know. Yeah, it's something like 5 feet something to like 6, to, six yeah, 5 whatever. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And and this rack looks familiar. It's, we've seen this on other bikes. It's uh, the same rack we use on other bikes. And we also have a bigger one, which we will see on the next one. And then, so this is the gray color. And then we got a, a cool like blue color over there. This is the Vario one, right? So it's got the belt drive right. and, the, and the Enviolo hub. It, it has uh, the latest smart system, 85 Newton meter. Yeah. Um, and they have all sorts of different modes now and stuff like that. There's auto mode, which kind of adjusts. Yeah, that's right. Different display options. This is that uh, safety bar rail this system. This is uh, the safety bar. Now this one's slightly different than the multi-charger one though, right? It's a little bit longer. A little bit longer, yeah. So. You can put two kids here, or you can combine it with uh, with children's seats. It's recommended for the weight balance, right? To be more centered over the wheel. Right. He's the engineer, so you know we gotta make sure to check with him on this <laughs> one stuff. stuff. Kickstand is standard. Uh, this is part of the safety bar option. Oh, okay. If you choose the pannier, you also have this piece because or to support the pannier. It supports uh, the pannier. Yeah. And then this is the that bigger rack you're talking about, that, right. that cargo rack. Right. Lots going on in the cargo space. You have some other updates as well. We got the load. 
This is load 60 touring. Yeah. Let's see if we can figure this out here. Something looks a little bit different here. The frame looks slightly different, this battery. What, what's going on here? This is uh, the new load 4 with the smart system. But maybe I have to explain, we are offering both systems, the former Bosch system and the newer smart system, because um, the, the former system offers you some options with, which they don't have um, on the new like smart Like Roloff, system. for example, this is super popular right. for us. And, Roloff and is very popular, plus uh, dual battery options. Yeah. So if you really want to go for 1,000 watt hours, there's no way then uh, using the, uh, the system which we which we used to have. Yeah, if you want to have the smart system, then it comes with one uh, battery only and uh, with two options for the derailleur, just the standard derailleur system or bell drive plus NVOLO. So these are the only two options for, for the new smart system. And this derailleur system, it's a new system from Shimano as well. We are learning about the, the link glide. This derailleur system we already offer for a few months, right. so it's not, not that new. It's uh, specialized for, for e-bikes, quite long lasting. And so this is the 745 watt hour, right? So that's the largest battery offered in the smart system, but that's one of the things that it's not going to be available until next year sometime yeah, it, so it, it might be available in March or April so it's more a, a, a really 23 product it's, yeah it's available quite late maybe not earlier than March or April so right. if you want to have a, a bike with a with a great technology you should maybe rather go for the old one where you have as I said you have more options and we're yeah. familiar with this color this tundra gray mat this color is a little different. This is the this is this is the longer version. This is the load 60, the load 75, the slightly longer version. Peanut mat, right? All right. Yeah, that's and, quite uh, a cool color. It, it only comes with a load 75. So we have a nice new box. It's called the Idit box. It's really special. It's not cheap, but it's it's really built for the type of thing you're using all the time. You really want this thing special. It's a waterproof box. Yeah. You can open it um, like this. It has lightings inside, so you can always find your stuff even in the dark. Yeah. And you could even like potentially strap things on top of that's it right. and all you sorts can of strap stuff. Things, lift it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. So it's actually built for to, to even be able to, to handle that sort of yeah. thing. And the inside you can easily take out, wash it in, to a, clean in it, a washing yeah. machine, clean it in a washing machine. It looks more like a car than a, than yeah. Like a bike. Yeah. The production version is actually going to be carbon fiber, is that That's true? That's right. It will be carbon fiber. Not this prototype, but yeah. the production will be carbon fiber. So New fork on the market, which is even stiffer. Now, we're, we're looking at the load. There's another bike that we were kind of missing a little bit, but it's coming back into the, to back. the mix. The next one is um, the Pexter 70. So it's back on the market. We have some some new options. We really worked on this model for the last uh, year. We changed a lot of details. The riding performance is it's much better than it used to be. It's stiffer. And we also offer it with a control technology package, which means you have a full suspension system, which really gives you a great riding performance. It's so important, even, even on a cargo bike too, it's really, uh, takes it to the next level. For those of you who don't know, this is really where your company got the start with the full suspension bike, which was always called control technology. And the idea is it improves control, improves traction, keeps that wheel on the ground. You know, the idea that you're riding along, you hit a bump and suddenly your wheel is off the ground. You want to hit the brakes, you don't have control. With suspension you do, and I, I appreciate that. I use it all the time. The load is my favorite bike. This bike's certainly awesome. I personally still prefer high speed, so I'm gonna leave this to some others, but it's still awesome, you know? So this one's a touring version. It's also available in, in Vario. Right. And you guys made a little bit of updates to the to the steering on here. I was, yes. I was learning yes. about this. Uh, the steering is it's, uh, much stiffer now. We have another fork now, this, this very stiff 
fork has a boost on that, so it's uh, wider than it used to be. So it makes everything everything just more uh, stiff, which is which is a good thing. You want it stiff in certain places, compliant in certain places. I mean, you have suspension yeah. for the compliance, but and just the steering angle adjusted a little bit. It went from 85 to 65. That's it's, right. And we're starting to see some of the accessories actually in person that were being released and and that sort of stuff. So that's really cool. Yeah, especially the ch children seat. Maybe you, we have a look into the bike. Very nice uh, children seat. Um, it's like a, it's like a car uh, seat. A new adjustment system, so it's very easy to to adjust the seat. So uh, when the kids uh, fall in, uh, asleep, then you can you can adjust it, and they can really. That's really a key thing yeah. for for yeah. kids because uh, they they do end up falling asleep in there, you know, which yeah, is a it's positive. a good tool. It's a, one of the hidden uh, gems of using a cargo bike that yeah. you can put the kids in and they'll sleep, you know. So, yeah. so this is our new, our new transporter. It's more uh, better price for families, so it's more basic, but nevertheless great technology. And it has some interesting features. For example, you can. You can open it. Yeah, it's interesting for kids, but also for dogs. Now I just met your dog yesterday, actually. Oh, did you? So was this? Did this concept originate there? Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I oh. mean that's how some of these things they, they really come from your daily use. Like for example, that's the it. the load 75 with the third seat. Marcus had a third kid, and he said, "Hey, I need a, an extra seat. We gotta." make this thing longer and that's figure right. it out. I mean, yeah. that's what I really love that, you know, these bikes are built for specific purposes. It is not built just, hey, somebody's doing that, we're gonna do that also. Somebody's doing, yeah. no, it's, this is the best way that we feel to solve that problem. And I, I really gotta respect that. Our way of working is that we always have a, a certain customer in mind and we are designing a specific bike for a certain customer and therefore we have so many different bikes because there are so many customers and so many demands out there for every customer we have the perfect solution so it's very important that our our dealers explain all the different options which we have all the different models and and then these bikes are built on order in germany so sometimes it takes a little bit longer but on the other hand you have a bike which is which is perfectly made for your demand, and yeah. that's, that's really great. There's some different versions of it. This is the 65. You have the transporter 85. This thing is massive. It's even bigger. And you call that one the family, this one the business, and heavy-duty cargo box. And you have some different options for boxes and such. That's uh, right. We have uh, three different boxes. And somebody can get it without the box as well, just kind you of You can the... get it without a box. You can, you can have an individual solution for whatever you want to build on this um, on this bike. We are hearing some different updates for, for last year. We've seen uh, the multi-charger. We started seeing these in the shop already. We have behind us here the multi-charger with the smart system. And then I think eventually we're going to start seeing some of these things transition to, to more of the smart system. But in the meanwhile, we have the, the, the standard versions available. And actually, that was the one thing that we were, we were talking about, some of these models. For example, like it's challenging as these things develop and you know, the innovation comes and everything kind of working together with supply chain and stuff like that. And so ultimately, the smart system was introduced, but it didn't have all the features that the, the Gen 4 system has. So uh, we're starting to see some of that stuff roll out over time, whether it be like high speed, for example, which is coming probably next year at some yeah, point probably. and some of the different batteries and, and different things like that. Yeah, maybe we'll just walk through the rest of the line for so for people maybe they're not that familiar. Yeah, the Roadsters here. It's kind of the lighter weight urban. It's more for 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 the cities, for the inner cities. This urban segment is also something which is really growing. Also, younger people in the cities are using e-bikes uh, than before. This is one uh, direction. Uh, which we we see on the market. So maybe uh, one look to the future. Yeah. Uh, for next year, we will introduce a complete new line of bicycles, of urban bicycles, which we call the Urban Line. So this is our Urban 5, very lightweight bike. It's uh, around 80, 18 kilos. I, I remember actually us having a conversation with Marcus at dinner several years ago. Yes. Hey, what is the bike that you need for the city? Hey, we need a bike that's 40 pounds. We okay. need it like under 40 pounds. Why? Yeah. 
because people want to carry it upstairs. That's it. In New York, in many cities throughout the world, they don't have the options of elevators and they don't feel comfortable locking it outside, which is fair. That's a, that's you got to right. carry it upstairs. Yeah. And something like this, you can actually manage that. I mean, I've done it with some crazy stuff. I've done it with the load, you know, if, if you'll believe me, but you know, it's, yeah. you figure it out. You live in the city, you figure it out, you yeah. know, but. It has a single speed drivetrain with the bell drive, so very clean, very simple, but you can even get out the battery for charging. You can, of course, charge it within the bike, but you can also uh, take the battery off. We also have one version with a, with a kind of mixture frame, which is called Urban 7. And we have uh, three different options for the shifting. So on this one, we have a classical derailleur system, but we also offer a, a hub gear. The Shimano hub, the derailleur, and single, single speed? speed? Okay. Right. And then this one has some other options, like the suspension right. fork, the suspension seat post. We have a, yeah, we have a suspension option, suspension kit, which means you have a suspension front fork and a suspension seat post. And we also offer a more comfortable uh, handlebar, which is... That's what this one yeah. is here, huh? So and I notice it's not much of a display on here. You have, uh, you know, this, this little LED here. That's right. So here you can fix your smartphone and we have a special app where yeah. you get all the information on your riding, on the distances you made, all uh, to see on your smartphone. So the smartphone is your display and you just have a very minimal device here where you just see the, like the battery level the battery and then the level. assistance or something. and you can even charge your smartphone it's like a USB-C port USB inside USB here port, right and then this is the controller here for it changing is. assistance and stuff like that right awesome yeah. yeah it's really nice and and this space is really nice by the way tell us about this what, what what's going on in here yeah it's a kind of a gallery we uh, we did a kind of an art project on this bike we selected uh, three cities in the world, San Francisco, Copenhagen, and Paris. And we met uh, four riders there, which are really keen on riding. Uh, and we made a kind of a photo story about these riders in their cities. And we also have a, a brochure which we made where we uh, put in all the nice pictures and also the story about these riders, um, the story about the cities, uh, which we use riding and art is uh, it's a great combination i mean the bikes are really uh, art in a lot of ways uh, that's right yeah, that's he's right. not saying it i said it so. yeah now so, so we're seeing some of this stuff new these bikes i think you're saying sometime spring next year or something yeah, like that we'll see in the u.s i mean that's right. they're available now in the european market we is that right starting in the european market we have uh, some regulations to fulfill in the US right because we are using a completely new engine it's from Fatsua it's a German company nearly not not to see uh, it's totally integrated into the frame we now fulfill the European regulations and for America we expect uh, to start beginning of next year beginning of 2023 20, and I, I appreciate that and I appreciate the, the way that it's actually many German companies kind of think about this and saying like, okay, let's make sure we meet these safety regulations and right. they're put there for a reason. A lot of people choose to ignore them, but uh, I think that's gonna catch up with them eventually, but we'll figure that out. Okay, so we see these new bikes and there's a couple other little updates. It's, there's another another bike that I'm particularly fond of. You got some changes too. Yeah, we have some updates. For example, the Tinker now comes with a new smart system. That's basically the only change. And this is 525. 525, and then yeah. the performance line motor on there with the yeah. NVOLO hub. And a new seat post, the by the Schultz. Seat post, yeah, German design. So this is uh, the new Charger 4. It also comes with a smart system. And we also offer the Mixter version, Mixty version. So this also has the smart system. And eventually we'll see it roll out with the with the high speed. This is we're looking at right. kind of later and next it, year. And it has uh, the 750 watt hour battery, so really huge battery. To be honest, the main difference to the old model. That, right, right. That the big Performance wise, big, you're seeing pretty much the same with the is, Gen yeah. 4 and the smart system. Just some little details of changing uh, some options, different displays, yeah. different levels of connectivity. Yeah. It's not important to everybody. 
and some things are important like one of the things like roll off for example a lot of people really want roll up not yeah. currently this available is, so it's there's not available this year unfortunately if you want high speed now and not not only in uh, in, in spring next year yeah you could go for the um, supercharger which has all which offers all the options so that's still a great choice dual battery up to 1250 watt hours which is really great for long tours and it's tried and true it's something that you know it's it works well these are the main updates most of the other stuff is you know some some slight little changes but most of it's staying relatively same yeah we are um, not changing everything every year that's our philosophy and i think that's I think also that makes good sense for the customers. Well, I really appreciate it. It's always a pleasure, and it's really exciting. I think a lot of these bikes are the, the type of bikes that people are really excited for and looking for, and it's it's nice to see the continued innovation. And it's always a pleasure to get to catch up and, and hang out. And you know, I got to you know visit you at the factory yesterday, and uh, we'll spend some more time. So appreciate it as always, and uh, thanks again for your time. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Have a nice time. See you. Bye. Thank you.